tries to act humble, but you look at him, he is seething with power. Well, if sometimes you spot him out of camera, you can really see his real face and his real look is completely different from what uh, then, you know, he shows on camera. He's a great actor. This well, is, I don't uh, mean this is a cheap shot. I saw him on Skype during the breaks. And I mean, David Duke looked like a different person when he was not on camera. And I want to say powerful, scary. I mean, I was going, man, that guy looks, whoa, that doesn't even look, whoa, very wolf-like. Uh, and I don't mean that as a cheap shot. I mean, maybe I'll get him back on sometime and just, like, catch him during it. Tell him, I'll be taping you during the breaks, buddy. We're going to catch this on tape. But, I mean, yeah, you see these people, like, shift, and it's scary. We're going to do the whole show with you. Fourth hour's coming up. Stay there. More calls. I'll go five minutes into the next hour. Alex Jones here back live. Thank you for joining us today. And then we've got Leanne McAdoo, Jakari Jackson, and Kit Daniels uh, all together with the fourth hour of post-game wrap-up. And also coverage of all the latest news that is breaking. Uh, this Leo Zagami interview has been so informative. I just kept it going right into the hour. I hope you can stay with us five minutes in the next hour. Uh, briefly, we're offering the best deal ever on the freshest, longest lasting, highest quality, horrible foods you can find out there that are extremely low cost. It's powered by My Patriot Supply at InfoWarsStore.com. We have their full spectrum of meals. And then we have a copy of the very same meals just with our sticker on it. Because contractually, as a private labeler, we can then offer it lower than anybody else uh, can sell these meals. That special introductory offer ends October 1st. If you don't have storable food, I think you've really made a grave mistake. This is insurance you can eat. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or InfoWarsStore.com will take you to find Knockout. Uh, and I just simply went out there to get the best organic, known, valerian root, GABA, melatonin, calomel, flower extract, L tryptophan, and a bunch of other known compounds that have been associated with better, restful sleep. Uh, and I'm not going to make any claims here. Just get a bottle. It's, it's, it's 1995, incredibly low cost. Uh, again, you, most leading competitors sell a bottle of melatonin, the same dose we have for the same price. So these are big pills. I mean, these are these have a full dose of everything in it. So it all works together with the precursors of melatonin, all of it for what, what I found to be the best sleep I've ever had uh, in modern times. I slept better, obviously, when I was a kid. As you get older, you have trouble sleeping. Uh, but it's amazing. When I forget to take it, I don't get as good a sleep. Knockout, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Prostagard, again, is just the known formula from saw palmetto to uh, lycopene to plant sterols, zinc, vitamin D3, selenium, copper. Everything uh, associated with having a better prostate. Uh, just check it out for yourself. It's documented. We can even really make claims when it comes to saw palmetto. That's recommended by MDs, but I, I'm not going to do that. Just talk to your own physician, find out about it, or look into the ingredients that are for yourself. Big Pharma doesn't want folks to know about stuff like this, obviously, because it's in competition with them. Does Big Pharma have stuff better sometimes? Absolutely. I mean, I go to the doctor sometimes on each stuff. It's just that the system doesn't want competition with Mother Nature. InfoWarsLife.com. Colloidal silver, uh, brain force, DNA force, survival shield, nation 9 x 2 All right, my friend, I don't think I have time to get to the endless loaded calls here, but we'll take a few in the final next segment, and I'll let you get to bed. I know it's late over there uh, in Italy and Rome, uh, but Leo's... Oh, weapons. Let's talk about this Pope going against weapon dealers. When he placed a weapon dealer as the head of his Vatican Bank, uh, Ernest von Friedberg, uh, the biggest weapon dealer in Germany, a knight of Malta, he placed him uh, after... Uh, oh, yeah, he, he wants our guns. He claims he's against weapons, but then he's heavily involved in it. He is heavily involved. I mean, he's involved up to his neck. He gets all the money from the weapon dealers to his bank, the yard, the yard. I mean, it's, it's incredible the level of hypocrisy of this pope. I mean, I'm, I'm really shocked. No, myself. I know. He came and spoke against the Second Amendment. We're supposed to just bow down to him. Because uh, he wants to promote all these immigrants to arrive, uh, you know, here in Europe, in the U.S., basically arriving with all the crime that, uh, of course, unfortunately... He wants them to be able to have their way and, and, and not be, you know, molested for people defending themselves. Because in Italy, you know, it happened that some a couple of 70-year-old, the, the, the woman was, uh, was basically raped and thrown out of the window, and the guy was, uh, his throat was... Uh, Slashed by a guy who was in a refugee center 100 meters away.
I mean, and this is uh, what's happening in Italy. So I'm sure that also in the U.S. you have a lot of crime by immigrants. Well, you're not allowed and, to and say that. They're God. They're allowed to do whatever they want uh, because, again, the globalists want cheap la labor. I mean, I certainly you know, know that. I want to talk about the astrology <laughs> because I cut you off earlier because of a break. I never got back into the astrology. A lot of stations are starting to pick the fourth hour up. It's live every day. Sometimes I host. Usually it's other hosts that do a great job. Leanne McAdoo is coming up. Five more minutes with Leo Zagami. And then a full hour of more breaking all this down. Infowars.com forward slash show. To find all the free Thank feeds and everything. We'll be back. Some of the headlines at Infowars.com. And Leanne McAdoo is going to be covering in the next hour. State using taxpayer funds to implant 10-year-olds with birth control. Millions of Americans will realize little or no benefit from Donald Trump's tax plan. Kurt Nemo breaks it down. It does cut taxes some. So I, I said I thought it was good. Nemo hates it. He just wants the whole thing gone, and I get it. Uh, I don't totally control my riders. They, they have their own brains, so I can disagree with them sometimes. But I don't think I disagree with Kurt. I mean, I get where he's coming from, but I'll take anything. Uh, school asks students for number of guns, political views held by family. UN to censor the Internet to save feminist feelings. That's actually being announced. Vatican City ignores Pope's call to accept immigrants. That's a Leo Zagami uh, article up there. Video, Clinton claims email uh, charges are another conspiracy theory. Soros demands Europe accept millions of Muslims annually. Uh, only one quarter of Americans would vote for a Muslim president. Uh, Leo Zagami, I, I want to finish up with you on uh, astrology. They admit a lot of popes are obsessed with it, a lot of presidents are obsessed with it. Uh, I mean, the elites make a lot of decisions on this ancient pseudoscience. I know astronomy came out of it. I know a lot of mathematics came out of it. So, I, I mean, I I kind of respect people at least that are at least into mumbo jumbo because at least they think something else is going on. At least they're looking for things. Maybe in the real world they look for things as well. So, so I'm not you know calling everybody superstitious. I don't really buy into it. But the Vatican really does, don't they? Well, it all comes from uh, what has been defined uh, in more recent times uh, in the 18th and 19th century as astrotheology. So basically, uh, the deities and, uh, of course, relate with the stars, also in ancient Babylonian cults. So basically, they are going back to those primitive cults we were talking about earlier. They uh, respect these cults uh, and they respect these stars as they are gods. So they calculate their position in relation to uh, the Earth because they think that it actually influences them and it also amplifies the ritual that they actually do on that specific day, in that specific hour, which every single hour of the day, Alex, every single minute of the day has a different spirit. And, and every and culture on earth worshipped according to the stars, basically the same way, and gave human sacrifices. So now we launch wars on these dates. Uh, the elite really do believe in it. The elite believes in it. Every billionaire I've known has secretly been obsessed uh, off record with the occult, with astrology. I mean, this is what the elite are into. Well, it seems to work, you see, because uh, on, at least on the dark side, when they, for example, sacrifice something, can be an animal uh, like uh, Babalao in, uh, in Cuba, in the Santeria, or it could be actually a human being like certain uh, satanic cults do, it actually seems to bring empower the egregore of this group, so the thought that this group has together, empower them with some uh, specific power that they might have, you know, uh, especially uh, at a materialistic level, not at a spiritual level, of course, because at a spiritual level, uh, this is all garbage. They certainly no. are into it. So is it basically like a Ouija board, if you believed in that? Is it something the spirits use as the interface? And so the belief in the movement of the planets becomes something through which demonic spirits manipulate the elite? Well, even the lodges of Freemasonry, even the good lodges, even the lodge where George Washington was initiated, had to follow this course. It meets at a certain hour, in a certain day of the week, and, and, and the ritual is conducted following, basically, you are reflecting below what is above. This is a rule of the Emerald Tablets that is followed by the occultist. 45 seconds. What's your view of George Washington? He was a great, I mean, he was not only a Freemason, I, I'm also a Freemason, so not all, all Freemasons are bad. There is also a good side to Freemasonry. I hope one day we can talk about that. But in any case, George Washington was a great guy. Like you said, he was trying 
to uh, get that independence from that aristocracy, that royalties in Europe, from the church in Europe. He was really somebody who was laying the foundation for a great nation, which is the U.S., which should really reflect this liberty and still does. But for how long before the Mondialists will shut down everything? Because, uh, like you, you, I see what you said the other day about the FBI starting to investigate you. Well, of course, uh, when you start to discussing things like the Vatican, you become even more of a target. Absolutely, I know that. God bless you.